Assalamualaikum and today we'll be demonstrating digital tonometry. It is one of the relatively easier methods to perform in ophthalmology. But uh, although we've already gone through this description when we talked about acute angle closure, if you haven't done that yet and the method comes before, uh, this is a very crude method of estimating the intraocular pressure, but this is your best friend in an ER setting where you don't have access to uh, an air puff uh, or, a, or, or, or an applanation tonometer, or you're sitting in your clinic as a GP or a family physician and a, pa and a, and a patient comes to you with a painful red eye and you want to differentiate between two very similar looking differentials of red eye, uh, acute anterior uveitis, more specifically iritis, and acute angle closure, these fingers of yours are your best friend then. And this is basically a means of estimating intraocular pressure by palpating or the globe when the eye is in a downward position over the lit skin. And you use your index fingers and the nails have to be clipped for that. And basically what you're doing, you're getting a feel that when you press the eyeball, as you see in the demonstration video, what sort of a feel or a feedback do you get? Um, and although it is very unreliable, but as I said, this can be your best friend especially in an ER setting or a GP clinic setting or a family physician setting where you don't have any, you don't have access to other more sophisticated instrumentation, your fingers are your best friend. This is also called digital palpation tonometry and digital tonometry and they're both the same. And one thing that you need to remember that whenever you're doing digital tonometry or you're told to do digital tonometry, you always, always do both eyes and you're comparing the two eyes amongst themselves. So it's not digital tonometry, right eye, left eye, it's digital tonometry. And don't ask your examiner during an assessment, which eye should I do digital tonometry on? That will tell the examiner you don't know the method. Even if you perform it right, you just really don't know it because it's always done for both eyes. So for the prerequisites, you need to have your nails, which are clipped. Um, and uh, nails should always be clipped. Have a torch because we do need to do a little bit of an examination when you're digging, doing digital tonometry. You need to make sure that there are no swellings, uh, especially hot tender swellings. Uh, that would make it more uncomfortable for a patient to go through this process, especially if he already or she already has a red eye. And the patient should be uh, comfortably seated for this. So what you're doing is where these arrows, you are using your fingers to palpate the globe and you're applying alternating pressure by using your two index fingers of both your hands. The video will demonstrate it really well. And basically you're getting a feel. So you don't press with both fingers at the same time, you're rocking your fingers and you're trying to get a feel as to how the globe feels like. And then it could be hard or stiff or it could be soft or it could be somewhere in between. So to record normal findings, you write digital tonometry, DT, you can also write T, and you can write soft, and you're always supposed to compare both eyes. So it is soft, both eyes. And, and it could also be, in, in, in addition to soft, uh, hard, if it is harder than one, and we'll record abnormal findings on the next screen, or it could be somewhere in between. But generally, soft and hard is also acceptable. So if you have an abnormal finding, you can say a right or left eye was hard or as hard as compared to the other eye. So you do both eyes, always both eyes, or your both eyes could be hard as well. So what will follow now is a method, and I said this is relatively simple. The most important things are make sure your nails are clipped, that's what the examiner is looking for. And you're pressing the globe with the pulp of your fingers, not jabbing your nails into the patient's eye because it's the feedback from the pulp that tells you what sort of a feeling you're getting. So the softer feeling is like pressing the, the pulp of your finger and a hard feeling is like pressing your nail and in between is in between. So just see the method. It's relatively simple, but as I said, uh, very useful as well. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Dr. Ali. Today, I will be able to do your eyes for the eyes. I will be able to do your eyes for the eyes. I will be able to do your eyes for the eyes. I will not have any pain for the eyes. If you have any pain for the eyes, then tell me. Is your permission? Yes. Okay. So, I will begin my examination first by examining the surface of the lids for any swelling. I will begin my examination first by examining the surface of the lids for any swelling. You can see it in front of your eyes. You can see it in front of your eyes. You can see it in front of your eyes. So what I'm going to do is just look at both the upper lids to observe any obvious swellings. And if I see any obvious swellings or hot tender areas, I'm going to ask the patient if they hurt and not proceed with the examination unless I'm allowed to do so. Okay. 
I'm going to warm my index fingers of both hands. Sir, thoda upar kariyega aur niche pairon ki taraf dekhte hain. Sir, thoda upar kar lijiyega. Gardan se dikar ke upar kariyega aur niche apne pairon ki taraf dekhte hain. Niche apne pairon ki taraf dekhiyega. I'm going to bring my index fingers over the globe and using the pulp of my fingers, not my nails. I'm not going to jab into the eye like so. I'm going to press on the globe with the pulp of my finger. and i am going to check the feedback that i get and i am going to alternate between the two fingers not press at the same time with both fingers but apply alternate pressure with my both fingers so what i am going to do is gently rock my fingers on the eye niche dekhte rahiyega i can use the rest of my hands for stabilization now i am going to examine the other eyes following a similar protocol using the rest of my hands to stabilize and gently apply rocking pressure on the globe aapka bahut bahut shukriya okay so now what we are going to do we are going to uh, write down our, or record our findings of the interpretation of digital tonometry and this is also something that was given at the end of presentation that precedes this video and for that you can write dt For digital tonometry, so this is a D, or you can just write T for tonometry. And again, we draw two lines, signifying the right and left eye, the right on the top, the left on the bottom. And we can write soft if the feeling that you got when we were palpating the growth was like pressing the pulp of your finger. that would imply that your pressure is sort of normal again remember this is a very qualitative test and a very very approximative test so you write soft if it was like pressing the pulp of your finger if it was like pressing the nail then you write hard so for example let's write t here and you would write hard and hard depending upon if one or both eyes were hard and remember this is one of the tests that is always done bilaterally and you have a comparison between two eyes so digital tonometry is not for the right eye not for the left eye digital tonometry is always 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 done for both eyes so the examiner is not going to tell you do digital tonometry for the right or left eye the instruction would be to perform digital tonometry and you should never ask right or left eye because if you are asking right or left it would tell the examiner you haven't done much of this because the examiner is not going to go and tell you that you do it in both eyes thank you